<laughs> I love how disappointed you are in all these shots that are heading right for the front of the green. You have not hit a single fat shot or anything to the left of the target in the last 10. Let's do it like three times in a row. Just getting start. Can you see how just getting started, if you just keep flowing, you see what I mean? If you just keep flowing, you're, you're good to go. Just don't change the flow. Yeah, that's nice. Right on target with a foot of fade instead of a big draw. So the shot we're trying to move away from is the drop kick kind of pull hook. Bad low point control. Just trying to stay on the plane now. There it is. So better divot already, huh? Like your angle of attack on the six when we started was about zero degrees or, or yeah, we, got two and a half. we get, we're getting a lot of two high ones and low twos, which is still not enough. It's a great improvement, but I wouldn't want to bet that you could get to three and three and a half consistently just by strategizing turn and swoosh. So we've got to steepen the plane a little bit more. There it is. Yeah. Yep. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there we have a really good divot and a different starting direction. So I think you'll need to feel more exaggeration. How much exaggeration we need to feel is really an enormous part of learning golf. Yes, love those. Okay, I think you would have liked that a bit better. And yet I still think you could be an inch better than that. So when you say that... I think you were an inch or two inside consistently there. Yeah. Too far inside with the shaft and the... Yep, under the plane too much. Uh-huh. I should not be here, I should be here. Uh, maybe, but I, no, I think you aren't. I think you're... I think the handle of the club needs to swing towards the pole more. Out away, yes. I think you need to feel like you're you're separating the handle away from you to the outside more. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I think you really would have liked that one. And the proof that that one was the best of the last three was in the divot, the sound of the divot, the feel of the divot. The divot was a little bit steeper, and the low point was more in front. Yes. Yes. You would have really liked that. That's a little cut shot. That's a little cut wedge. That would really dance. A lot of backspin on that. You can't look at photographs because you don't know how someone got there. You don't know the trend. So if you saw me here, yes. Down. No, you, can, you can't screw it up from there. The later in the swing, you can't turn the cruise ship anymore. It's a, it's a cruise ship, not a speedboat. Separate the arms away more. Push the arms there. That's right. Brilliant. Brilliantly on plane. Terrific. Your last two swings were three inches in front and four and a half inches in front. Easy game. You know, I really liked about that one is that you also are starting to build in the turn and swoosh idea. But now it doesn't have to, the turn and swoosh doesn't have to be a big emergency now. It just has to be blended, subtle. Really nice. So it, it's Miss the bucket, turn and swoosh. Super. It's the opposite. Okay, Paul, path is minus four, low point 4.1 inches in front. Now that makes sense, because remember, as, as we start to shed path and go back to square again, right? That one was four degrees out to in. 
Correct. Out due in. Okay. Which makes it very easy to make a divot in front. So when we go back to zero, you still have enough leeway there to still be three inches in front. So again, that's the combination of miss the bucket, turn and swoosh coming down. That's we need a little bit of both. Yep. Oh yeah. Wow. What a beauty. Five in outside in. 3.7 ahead. Keep blending in more turn and swoosh idea that we've been working what we've been working on. You, you yeah, turning and swooshing out. Yeah, exactly. When you're ready, just keep getting brave and adding in little little bit more of it each time. Wow. Super. Little cut shot. The toe of the club, watch this. You can stay right here. I'm not going to swing. So stay, stay like you're hitting it. Okay. okay. We'll use this arc through the example. Now, can you see that the club face is staying square to the arc? Yeah. Okay. But you can also see that the club face is rotating relative to the target. Correct. It's open yeah. and it's closed. Correct. Now, what if, I'll exaggerate, what if I bottomed out back here? So, or, or in other words, the ball's here, but I'm perfect here. I'm still square to the arc, but I'm bottoming out too soon. I'm turning, I'm you, the, the toe will have turned by then. Wow. So good. But just get some more turn and swoosh. So miss the bucket. <laughs> Wacky, huh? Miss the bucket. Turn and swoosh. That's right. Now see the amount of curve that has? Now you're at, now you're, you've gone all the way to a 10 on the Lee Trevino number line. Do you understand? Lee Trevino was the opposite of you, okay. where he turns and turns and swooshes way around the corner. But that's the shot he used to hit. Okay. That big roundhouse fade, that's exactly what you just did. Let's do one more, then we'll take the baskets away. Good, good, good. See this, see? Totally deep divot, starting left, tailing a lot. That's brilliant. In other words, I take you across the street, I put you on a 170 par three, and I say, let's, and I say, let's put a hundred bucks on you hitting the green from 170. I'll give you two to one odds even. You see, what, do, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna, you're just gonna make the most comfortable swing that you feel is gonna most likely hit the green. You're not going to make a goofy swing. Nope. Right. Miss the bag, turn and swoosh. Miss the bag, turn and swoosh. Yep. Wow. <laughs> That's fantastic. Way to go, Paul. That's 0.3 feet left of the flag at 162 in the air. See, part of your power is built into that old shape. You understand? Because that's the only way that you know how to coordinate speed. You'll have to build a new pathways. Like this is creating new pathways, but it's not super coordinated yet. Speed is coordination. Okay. Most of speed is coordination. No, <laughs> I love how disappointed you are in all these shots that are heading right for the front of the green. You have not hit a single fat shot or anything to the left of the target in the last 10.